right, so today we're going to take a look at these two retro collection figures. We've got uh, the Morak Boba Fett, and we've got the Beskar Armor Mandalorian. They're retro figures, so there's not a lot to go over here outside of just how they look, sculpt, stuff like that. I mean, obviously, articulation, I mean, these are five POA, so there's not really much to talk about there. And then we'll compare them to some other three and three quarter inch figures and just take a look at them and see which one's the better figure. Is it going to be Boba Fett? Is it going to be the Mandalorian? And while we're at it, we're also going to look at this guy here because I picked this guy up too. Uh, it's the pre-Beskar Mandalorian. So let's take a look at, uh, at all three of these guys right here and uh, we're going to see which one is the best. All right, so here we have them all set up. We'll go over accessories here real quick. Not that there's too much to talk about. They basically each all come with two guns. So we got Boba Fett's guns here. He's got his pistol. He's got his, um, I forget what you call this thing, but essentially his rifle. And then we get the exact same pistol and rifle set with the Mandalorian. So he gets his uh, long gun there. And then, of course, he gets uh, his pistol. Exact same on both of them. All right, so... As far as the figures themselves go, we'll take a look at Boba Fett first. And Boba Fett, obviously, he's got the nice vibrant colors because this is the Morak version when he had his nice fresh coat of paint somehow on his armor. Like, in the middle of a mission, he took the time to repaint his uh, his armor for some reason. I don't know. But uh, we've got the nice colors on there. Looks really good. Painted belt. The paint's good. Um... And we got the cuffs down there, the holsters painted on, the uh, rocket looks like it would fire, but it doesn't. So you got that. Uh, this is a molded on piece here with his range finder. And of course we got that style helmet. All in all, really good looking little figure. Nice, bright, clean looking. A little too clean looking in my opinion for Boba Fett, honestly. Uh, wasn't the biggest fan of his fresh paint job in, that, uh, in the second season of Mandalorian. But whatever, it's still a good looking little figure. Uh, then we've got uh, Din Djarin, Mandalorian, and his Beskar armor right here. And, of course, he's all nice and shiny and looking good. And uh, he's got all the details on here. He actually comes with a uh, little cloth goods cape. He's got his backpack on the back there. You see we've got all the shiny Beskar there. He's got the blue accents there around the, the cuff of that boot. You can see we've got some painted details there and silver on his boot there. He's got the armor pieces here. He's got some. He's got his strap with the bullets there. The holster itself isn't as nicely molded as it is on on Boba Fett there, uh, just because it's it just kind of a flat piece that sticks out. That one almost looks like you could fit a gun in it. Uh, this one certainly does not. Then of course we've got the uh, the details on the head itself. Look pretty nice. Of course he's got the ridge there over the top, with, which uh, Boba Fett doesn't have. So all in all, nice little figure, looks cool. Then of course we've got the old school one, <clears throat> which when I first um, picked these up, I thought, oh, these are probably just gonna be the same thing repainted. And um, certainly there are some similarities here with this guy, uh, but it is not the same mold just repainted. Um, this is a, a different mold. The boots are different, the legs are different, the chest is different. There's a lot of similarities there between these two, but it's different enough that you can tell it is a different mold. Now, it does look like the head is probably the same. And, yeah, even the hands are molded slightly differently. He's got these little uh, pieces on his that this one doesn't have. Yeah, uh, arms are even a little bit skinnier on this one than they are on this one. Again, I think the only thing that's the same on these two figures is, is the head. That's pretty much it. Everything else looks pretty similar, but it is a different sculpt. And, of course, you can see on uh, on this one here, the sculpt is much more basic. It almost looks much more like an old-school, you know, 80s figure with the very, very simple stuff, whereas this guy has a few more details, like on his leg armor and on his chest and things like that compared to this guy here. So both look really good. And, then of course, this guy uh, has the kind of plastic old-school cape, uh, cloak, trench coat, whatever it really is that uh, we saw a lot back on the old school figures back in the 70s and 80s. So, uh, I mean, all three figures are well done. They're all really cool retro style figures. I think they look good. They come with, you know, they come with all their guns. They're all nicely done for retro figures. So uh, I like all three of them, but let's throw them up with some other three and three quarter inch figures and see how they stack up. 
Okay, so we got some other vintage figures here, like old school legitimate vintage figures, at least on three of them. We got Darth Vader, Greedo, and IG-88 there at the back. And then you see up front, I've got a couple different versions of Boba Fett. Those are both customs. We got the translucent one on the right, and then we've got Boba Fett in his kind of original colors from the Star Wars Christmas special on the left. And just to compare the Bobas here, because this gives you a good idea of what we're dealing with. Obviously, you can see this Boba is a little older and chubbier. <laughs> Helmet's a little bit bigger. Um, more details, I think, on this guy here, obviously. Uh, this is just a, a redo of the old school mold, is all this one is. Uh, backpacks are uh, very similar. Very, very similar there. Of course, he's got the rocket molded in. This guy doesn't. I actually lost his rocket. It did come with a rocket, and it does actually fire, but uh, I lost the rocket. So, um, yeah, this guy looks a little younger and slimmer, and this guy's a little older and... Uh, he's, 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 he's had some weight put on him, let's just say that. So... But this gives you a good idea of how they uh, how they compare to some older school, actual legitimate vintage figures. Okay, so now for some new school vintage collection figures, we've got uh, Miggs Mayfeld on the right, and then we've got I think this what is this guy the Super Commando there on the left, and of course size wise they work. Obviously vintage collection stuff compared to retro collection stuff, big difference there as far as articulation and sculpt and things like that. But still, all in all, if these were all on the shelf together, I think they'd look pretty damn good. All right, so before we finish up, let's talk about price here real quick. You can pick these guys up for 10 bucks. I mean, that's the going price where you go to Walmart, Target, buy them on Amazon, whatever it is. 10 bucks, usually they're like $9.99, something like that. Now, I picked these guys up for 8 bucks a piece at GameStop.com. They had them on sale. And if you go to Amazon or Walmart and stuff like that, you can find these on sale all the time. So you can find them for less than 10 bucks a piece. So, you know, you're getting cool little figures for 10 bucks a piece, which I think is a pretty good deal. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's not like the greatest thing in the world because these are very simple, old-school figures. There's not a lot to them, so there's not a lot required to produce them. So I'd say it's a fair price for what you're getting based on the market today. As far as which one is my favorite, I mean, hands down, i got to give it to this guy right here. Now, between the three of them, he has the best sculpt and the most amount of detail, and he's got the cloth goods cape. Uh, which makes a world of difference. It really does. These two are absolutely great. I love them. Uh, but with the really, really bold colors and everything, and the much simpler sculpt that kind of harkens back to the old original vintage 1980s figures, um, you know, they don't stand out as much as this guy does right here where he's got more detailing everywhere in the boots and the legs and everything. So, you know, if you're just looking for one Mandalorian figure, in this retro line, which, why would you? They're cheap, get them all. But if you are, for some reason, just looking for one, I think the Beskar Mandalorian Din Jarum is by far the best.